All right, uh, the Oscars kind of be on stage on Sunday. Take a look right here. Chicago-based R.S. Owens has been in charge of creating Oscar statues for over 30 years, each one handmade. They start with the bare metal, mold it, and electroplate it through five different baths. That's to get that 24 karat gold finish. And one of the potential new owners one of, of one of those statues is a, a Brighton native, Tom Cross, nominated for Best Editing for the film Whiplash. And I got a chance to speak with him about the nomination and his work on this movie and others. We see, we know movies take a long, long time to put together, and I know it varies, but, but as the editor, you kind of get to it after all the on-camera stuff is done, is that correct? Well, um, not exactly. Uh, we actually uh, usually start uh, editing uh, when the shooting starts, and uh, that's kind of standard operating procedure. Uh, and um, the, the, the goal is to really kind of um, edit and keep up with camera, so to speak, so that you can um, protect the production and uh, you can start uh, spotting uh, mistakes or start spotting things that might be questionable or problematic. And you can immediately report back to the director and producers uh, if you think, you know, you need additional photography uh, likewise, you know, the directors and producers can call the editor and say, hey, I'm really worried about this scene. Can you cut this first and take a look and let me know if we got it before mm. we have to wrap the actors or wrap the set? Very interesting. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a real, it's a, it's a very smart cost-saving um, uh, measure, and it's just a great way to protect the movie, you know, because these things, um, once they start shooting, once they start rolling, it's, it's almost like a big... Uh, you know, ocean liner. It's 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 really you kind of have to get out of the way, and and um, they're hard to steer. When you were editing Whiplash, which I believe was your third feature, did you have any sense that we'd be talking to you as Tom Cross Oscar nominee? No, I had uh, when I started working on Whiplash. I had uh, I really had no idea that that it would go this far, and. Um, you know, I often joke with the director, Damien Chazelle, that, you know, a little over a year ago, we were just hoping um, that the film would get accepted into the Sundance Film Festival. Mm. Um, and, and the other thing we were hoping for was that it was that J.K. Simmons would somehow get recognized for his work because we really, we wanted both of the actors, Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons, to be recognized because we both think they're fantastic. But, but J.K., um, in particular because his role is, is much more overt and he, he really has some of the best lines of dialogue in the film. So so those were the two hopes. Tell us about your memories of growing up in Brighton and I don't know how often you get back, but what do you remember about your hometown? And and, uh, and was this where you first uh, grew to, uh, to love the film, uh, the art of filmmaking? You know, I had a really happy... Um, upbringing and childhood in Brighton and I went to Brighton High School I went to French Road Middle School Council Rock and um, you know I, I'm a kid I was a kid that uh, that saw the Star Wars movies in the theater and mm. I think the Star Wars movies were the, the, the films that really got me interested in going to the movies so after I saw the first couple Star Wars movies I was always at uh, Lowe's Pittsford or Lowe's Webster to um, see the summer blockbuster uh, mm -hmm. movies. And um, that's where my kind of love of movies started. And then I started to branch out and, and get interested in other films. I started watching older movies. My, my father is kind of a movie buff, and he introduced me to the films of Albert Hitchcock. And, uh, um, you know, I, I, started, I started renting, uh, you know, going to the video store and uh, started renting movies. And at the same time, I was... I was really trying to go out to the movies to enjoy new movies at, um, you know, popular thing would be to sure. go to Lowe's Webster and my friends and I would try to, we'd try to see like two or three movies. <laughs> we'd sneak into a couple movies. And, Which uh, meant and probably then the Pittsburgh. editor, that probably meant the editor didn't get as much money. Probably. <laughs> I was probably, yeah, I was probably doing a disservice to the future version of myself. Thanks so much, Tom. And, yeah. and, and I assume Thank you're you. edi you're editing some Kodak film still? Yeah, they shot on film, and I believe they shot on Kodak stock, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's still, the, the uh, film still lives. Yeah, so there's that, always a, there's a little bit of Rochester uh, 
in, in my work and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, which is great. Great, Tom. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Good luck Sunday. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye -bye. Take care. Ask, I did ask him about Kristen Wiig, because yeah. she was also a Brighton grad, but she's a little older, older than he is. Okay. So they have not, they did not cross Did, did he answer that delicately? Oh, no, no, oh, no, okay. no. He's, I, think she, I think she was just a little ahead of me, I think is what she said. Because he, if he graduated in 93, he's probably around 40 years old. She's a little older than that. Yeah. You can catch the 87th Annual Academy Awards over on 13 Wham ABC Sunday night. Oscars coverage begins at 7 with red carpet coverage, and the award ceremony gets underway at 8.30, just as I'm going to bed. <laughs> how wonderful. Weather, traffic, local headlines coming up next, including how many more city streets will fall under this parking ban in the city of Rochester.